Welcome back, everybody. Alex Curtis here from jacurtis.com. And um, I want to thank you for real quick for watching this video. Today, what we're going to do is go over how to install Laravel. Um, we're going to be installing Laravel 5.1 in this video, but um, installing the different versions of Laravel are all basically the same. So this video is intended to kind of go with all of the Laravel tutorials that I do. So if you're new to this channel and stumbled across it and you want to learn more about Laravel, I invite you to um, join, uh, subscribe below and subscribe to this channel because we go over lots of Laravel um, stuff, lots of Laravel tips, tricks, and entire tutorials on doing some really advanced applications. So if you're just getting started, I wanna thank you for um, first of all visiting and go ahead and subscribe below and we'll get you started. We'll get, um, we'll get you to become master status Laravel developers. And also for anyone that's new to the channel, you can um, follow all the in-depth parts of this video at jacurtis.com and we've got tons of free courses, resources and tools there um, for Laravel and all sorts of marketing your web applications and all sorts of stuff there. And then the last little plug I want to give is that you can reach out to me on Twitter and I respond to basically every mention that you have. So if you reach out to me, I'm going to help you out. I'll answer your question. I love that. My uh, username for Twitter is underscore J-A Curtis, J-A-C-U-R-T-I-S. Of course, don't forget the underscore at the beginning. Okay, now in this video, we're going to install Laravel really quickly. Um, you're, in order to install Laravel, you're going to need to have Composer installed as well. So Composer is required for everything we do with Laravel. Um, it's an absolute necessity and so you're going to have to install Composer first. So if you have not installed Composer before, you can actually see one of my other videos about installing Composer and I go we go over that in pretty good detail to get you set up and if you run into any problems, we go over some of the most common errors as well that you might um, encounter. So, but for now, we're going to just install Laravel, assuming that you already have Composer installed. Now, in order to get started, what you need to do is come to the Laravel website. So as you can see here, we're on Laravel.com. That's the, the URL for, for Laravel. And it's a nice, clean, great looking website. Um, from here, what we're going to do is we need to go and install Laravel. In order to do that, what we just do is click documentation up here at the top. From documentation, you can see the first item is installation, and then it goes over kind of the requirements in order to run Laravel. Now, if you're running this on your on your uh, Mac, then you shouldn't have any problem getting any of these. We do have, I have a few other tutorials if you are missing some of these, but for now, let's just go ahead and install it. And as you start developing with, developing with the application and you create your first project, Laravel is gonna notify you if you need anything. Um, now, the first thing we can do is come down here to installing Laravel. And as, and as I mentioned earlier, Laravel uses Composer. So if you haven't installed Composer, go ahead and click the video down here at the bottom, and that'll take you over how to install Composer and go over into that into full detail. Um, once you have Composer installed, all we have to do is we can install um, Laravel through Composer by just copy and pasting this one line right here into our terminal. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now if your terminal, hopefully you, you've used the terminal before because you have installed Composer, but if you haven't, you can just go under applications, utilities, and then your terminal is, in my case, it's right down here. Um, so you're gonna click terminal, it's gonna lock, it's gonna open up just like this. And you can see we're here at the root folder. Um, this isn't a tutorial on terminal, so you're just gonna have to kind of trust me. Again, we have more videos on how to get started with tutor with terminal if you are new and you wanna learn a little bit more, but that's not really required for this part. So what we need to do right now is just install um, this line that we pasted um, right here. Okay, now in order, the last thing that you need to do to make sure this works is you do need to make sure that Composer is installed globally. And so what that means is that you're able to access Composer by just typing in Composer. Um, if you type in Composer and you get this, this is your basically your help file explaining what all you can do with Composer, then that means it's working um, the way it is. Now, if it comes back and says the Composer is not an, um, it'll say something along the lines of Composer is not a valid um, function or command, then if it says that, then that means that you have not globally installed Composer. Now, in order to do that, what you need to do, come over to getcomposer.com composer.org, I guess it is. Um, come over to getcomposer.org and you can, well, this is interesting. They, uh, oh, they do different races for each <laughs> composer, whatever. Anyway, it's very interesting. Um, I had never noticed that's a new thing that they've done. Um, you can come over here to getting started and it'll explain what you need to do. Basically come down, um, composer, getting started, and then under your installation and then globally, and it explains that basically what you need to do 
you're not you don't need to do this because you've already installed composer theoretically so all you need to do is the second line here which is moving the composer.far file to your user directory again i explained this in the composer video so if this is really confusing go ahead and watch that video i'll link it again down here um that video explains this in a lot more detail i'm kind of glossing over it right now because um i don't want to go into all the details right now but we explain it in the other video so Currently, if you're if you're able to type in composer, or com and composer doesn't work, what I would try is composer dot far, and see if that works. Um, you might have to do PHP composer dot far. Okay, but I've already moved it. So um, anyway, if that that might also work, and if you get this command, then all you need to do is do whatever works for you, and then add this to the end of it. So for your composer. If it's composer.far, php composer.far, whatever works for you, and then you type the rest of this in right here. So in my case, I can access composer by just typing composer. And so all you need to do is just take this full line. This one will work for me. Um, basically what we're saying here is we want you to use composer and we want to um, install basically the require means install. And we want to do that globally. And then we're going to go into the composer directory and there's a rep repository in the composer um, directory called Laravel. And then within that directory, there's one called installer and we're getting version 1.1 of that installer. So um, that's basically what we're doing here. If you go ahead and click enter, it's going to start installing the program. So you can see here where um, it's, it's creating a JSON file, it's loading other repositories. So anyone that is not familiar with composer, composer is a dependency manager. What that means is that Laravel itself actually requires a lot of other applications to run. You can see some of them here. So Symfony, all of these are different applications that actually Laravel requires in order to run. And so instead of making you manually install all of these, Composer actually says, oh, Laravel requires you to have Guzzle and requires you to have React and Symfony. So we're gonna go ahead and install those for you anyway so you don't have to worry about it. So you just tell us what you wanna do and all these dependency applications get installed automatically. And that's why Composer is really, really convenient. Okay, so now you can see here, it says writing lock file, generating auto load files, and now I get my normal command right here at the bottom. What that means is that theoretically, it is all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and type Laravel and just make sure that it's working. All right, so one thing I did forget is that Laravel itself will not work at this point. And that's because Laravel is actually hidden in another folder. And you can see that right here. Um, it's hidden inside of this um, composer folder, um, inside of a bin folder and, and then vendor and then composer. Now that we've got Laravel actually installed, our next goal is to get Laravel to the point where we can actually just install it versus um, with running the command Laravel. Now, as you can see right now, it says that the Laravel command is not found in my bash. Basically, the command line is not, um, there's no command line for Laravel. Well, that's because even though we installed Laravel, it is, um, it's in a kind of a weird directory. So you, it should work if you go to our, your root, that's what the CD means, a little squiggly, in a composer, in the folder called composer, the dot in front of composer means it's a hidden folder. So there's a hidden folder called composer. Inside of that folder, there's a folder called vendor. And inside of that folder, there's a folder called bin. And then... Um, after that, we have a folder called Laravel, or we have the command line Laravel. Now, if you run this, you can see that we do have it installed. It says Laravel um, installer version 1.2.1. So we are running it, and these are all the options that we can do. And one of those is to create a new Laravel program. Now, this is really inconvenient to type this just to access a Laravel. So through our terminal, what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut so that when we just type Laravel, it knows to look inside of this directory for Laravel so that we don't have to type it every single time and we can just type Laravel. And that way in the future, we'll be able to just type things like Laravel new or Laravel help or, um, or Laravel list and so forth. As you can see, these are the options right here. So um, that's kind of our goal to do that. Now, in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to get into our bash profile. The bash profile basically has all the commands for the different, um, has all it, it contains all the locations for the different command line commands, if that makes sense. So um, what we're gonna do in order to access that is go ahead and just type CD. I'm already there now, but you may, just in case you're not there, if you type CD and click enter, what that'll do is take you back to your root folder of the app, of the um, computer. So right now my root folder, my home folder is J.A. Curtis. 
And what, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to type nano. And nano is a text editor that runs inside terminal. Um, and so we're just saying use nano to open this file. And we're going to open um, squiggly. So that means at the root slash. And then there's a hidden folder at the root of our computer called bash profile. So the dot means hidden. And then we do bash underscore profile. And if you can type correctly, you should get this. And then you're going to click enter. And what this does is this opens up in, um, this is a text editor built into the um, terminal. So what we're going to do here is just add a line. And we're going to say export. And then we have path equals. And we're going to add the um, the location for Laravel. So this the Lar the one we keep writing. So it's going to be um, squiggly, and then um, composer, vendor, and then bin. Okay, and then from there we can actually just save. Okay, now before we quit, I actually forgot one little step, and um, I actually jumped ahead and broke my computer because I forgot to do the steps. So luckily I was able to restate, retrace my steps and uh, I realized as soon as I saved what I had done. Um, and if you just save like this, you will effectively break your computer kind of, there's a way to get back um, from it, but um, which I was able to do and got us back here. But um, if you just do this, what you're basically saying is this is the only place to find um, commands for the terminal. When in reality, there's a lot of commands that your computer relies on. Um, change the CD, LS, all those commands that we're used to using, um, if you use the terminal a lot, are all built into your operating system. And they're actually not located here. They're located in other places. And so what we need to do is um, we also need to add those onto, um, onto this command as well. So then we need to add those to the end. So what we're going to do is right before your, um, print, your closing quotations, we're going to do a colon and then we're going to do dollar sign path. And what this means is this means tack on what the current path that we're using, which is um, the one currently installed on the computer, which includes all those commands and add those on here as well. And those are other locations that you should expect to find commands. Um, if you don't understand that, don't worry about it. You shouldn't, you don't really need to understand it. But anyway, just make sure you add this and don't save it without this colon and the dollar sign path and put path as all uppercase. Now from there, what you can do is now you're gonna to go to the commands at the bottom and this is how we use the term, um, the terminal text editor. So we're using a text editor called nano and all the commands are down here at the bottom. So you actually don't use your um, cursor in nano, it's all based on the arrow keys. Um, we can copy text luckily from here from the but it doesn't actually move the cursor so all the commands also because there's no menu like there is up here um, within the text editor we have to use these these commands down here so what we're going to do is we're going to exit the, the program and when we exit it's going to prompt us to save and we're going to go ahead and save so click Control x to exit as soon as we do that you can see it says save modifying buffer that means do you want to save what you're working on um, if you answer no, it will destroy everything. If you answer yes, it will save over it. So we're going to type uh, yes, and then it changes one last time, and it says what file name do you want to write it to? Now it's going to have by default the file name it was already named, and so you don't want to change anything. Just click enter. So you're going to do control X, Y, and then enter, and then that's going to bring you back here. Now in order to actually um, save or the changes are saved, but we're actually not using that new path file because we need to reboot the terminal before we can do that. So the first thing we should do is um, you can't just close the terminal. It doesn't actually quit the terminal. You actually have to come all the way up and quit the terminal or do control Q or command Q. I'm sorry. Um, quit the terminal and then go ahead and open it up. And now we should be using our new path. Now to see that we're using our new path, go ahead and type echo dollar sign capital path. And if everything's worked correctly, you should get this. You should have at the beginning your composer, vendor, bin, and then your parentheses, or sorry, your colon. And then you should have user local bin, colon, user bin, and this is your normal. These, these ones here are your normal path and um, locations. And then we've added this one to the beginning. So if you have that, then what that means is that from now on, this is permanently saved on your computer. So now all you have to do is type Laravel, and it should pull up Laravel. And it did. So now we've installed Laravel. So hopefully that wasn't in too much depth. Um, I 
in all of my tutorials, I always like to explain why something works. I watch a lot of tutorials where people just like do this and I don't really know why I'm supposed to do it. And so I tend to, my videos tend to be a little bit longer and go into a little more detail, as you can see here. Um, instead of just telling you to paste these commands in the terminal, I kind of walk through and explain how or why we do those. So if you enjoyed that type of style of tutorials, you're gonna love all my other tutorials. I have a ton of tutorials over at jacurtis.com. We've got a ton of free tutorials, resources, videos, and all sorts of things from um, Laravel to design, Photoshop, and all sorts of marketing and SEO type of stuff as well. It's really, really cool. Obviously, subscribe to my channel below. I really love and appreciate it. Reach out to me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter URL is just underscore J.A. Curtis. Don't forget the underscore and then J.A. Curtis. Reach out to me there. I answer everyone that mentions me. So um, shout out to me. Tell me you love this video or whatever. And um, I'd love to talk back and forth with you and help you out when uh, with whatever I can. So I love your guys' support. Again, remember to subscribe so you can get all the videos. We got a lot of cool Laravel stuff coming up. Till next time, peace.